Mrs. Algerine M. Guillermo, teacher angel of Native Camp. So guys, uh, I would like to share to you my uh, my happiness because yesterday, actually hindi ko alam talaga na um, I will be part of those popular teachers kasi nga dito sa dashboard ko last month, hindi ko talaga nakita yung, yung profile ko sa taas. Like, um, nasa like ikaw 100 ako so hindi talaga ako nag-expect so that's why I was surprised when someone um, commented sa page sa na nasa um, rank 21 daw ako sa popular teachers sa app ng students but um, yun sobrang saya ko but um, yesterday night my I received another message na rank 14 pala ako so sa page so, guys kasi nga um, I'm I'm in my first month pa, so I'm a newbie, and then napabilang ako sa top 20, so talagang um, thankful lang talaga ako. But I doubt if ma-maintain ko pa rin yung um, uh, rank na maging part of top 20, kasi nga um, June na, so I have to be to be um, a public school teacher, so kailangan ko nang um, ayusin yung mga enrollments ng mga kids ko, so para magiging part time nala ako kay native, native camp and talagang hindi ko maiiwanan si DepEd kasi nga those, do, kung i-compare natin parang mas malaki yung kikitain talaga natin dito kay Native Camp but of course, I love DepEd, mas mahal ko si DepEd kasi nga, um, it's my bread and butter for how many years so, yun nga lang yun nga guys, so parang, uh, maybe um uh, konti na lang yung mga open slots ko so konti na lang yung magiging book classes ko so yun na so hindi na ako mag expect for the for this month na maging top 20 pa so so yun na guys so um this uh in this video i'm going to share to you uh the the things that you should do and should, should not do in your first week dito sa native camp Kasi sabi nga na experience is the best teacher, like you need to have mistakes before you learn. But I guess you don't need to commit mistakes for you to learn. You just learn from the mistakes of other people. Just like um, sa akin, you can learn from my mistakes during sa first week ko. So, ang dami kong mga na, uh, natututunan. So, dito sa Native Camp, um, wala kasi... So, Magsisart na tayo guys about sa mga bagay na dapat ninyong gawin at hindi gawin. So, uh, so first thing na, na gagawin niyo is you are going to like, pag may account na kayo, activated na yung account mo, of course you are going to open your account, your um, platform, and you are going to to explore. Kasi um, yan yung mali ko, uh, hindi, ko hindi, hindi ko agad in-explore yung platform ko, kaya meron akong... Uh, nagkamali ako sa first class ko. So, ma sa account niyo meron kayo makikita na a dashboard, message, students info, text, um, Japanese translation, I mean, Japanese phrases. So, lahat, ay, yun na yun makikita mo. At yung sa reservations mo. So, yun yung makikita mo sa gilid. So, explore mo yung, uh, yung platform mo. The next is, kailangan yung iset yung time sa computer mo or laptop mo the same time sa dashboard na makikita mo. So, kapag titingnan mo sa dashboard, merong Philippine time at Japan, Japan time. So, i-follow mo yung Philippine time. So, dapat mag-jive yung time ng, uh, sa dashboard mo at time sa computer mo. Kasi, whenever you will be on standby, uh, wala ka na makikita ang time sa dashboard mo. So, yung magiging bait basihan mo na lang is yung time sa uh, laptop or computer mo so so that whenever you are on standby like for your next class or book class so malalaman mo na ay meron ka pang 4 minutes 3 minutes to go to the bathroom so next thing is um, you should have uh, you should download the applications actually daw, dalawa yung kailangan natin yung for teachers and for students na application yung teachers na application na i-download mo and i-install mo sa uh, sa cellphone mo ay yung um, doon mo makikita yung mang, yung schedule mo so doon ka magpa-plot ng schedule and then doon mo makikita rin yung my page mo yung payment mo at saka yung inquiry so yung isang ta yung isang application naman is for students 
uh, dyan mo makikita y- or matichack yung, yung profile mo kung ano yung rating mo or ano yung mga reviews ng students mo. But guys, dyan sa student app, uh, please, please do not sign in kasi meron kasing parang sign in or sign up na tab. Wag kasi meron akong nabasa sa page namin na parang nag-sign in siya as student. So, na, na, nakita yun ni Native Cam, kaya na-deactivate yung account niya. Kaya be careful, wag mag-sign in sa student app, kundi search your nickname lang. So, every uh, every Monday, mag-generate yung rating at saka yung, yung mga reviews ng mga students natin. Then, after that, um, make sure na meron kayong giazo Giazo account. Kasi dito sa Native Camp, um, from time to time, kailangan mo mag-screenshot. And kapag merong problema, let's say, nagka-problema ka like, um, you, will, you, you were on standby, and then um, hindi nakapasok si student, and then parang and, naging auto-cancellation siya. Pero nakita mo talaga na nag-standby ka, meron lang system glitch. So, kung may, may, may screenshot ka, i-honor or tatanggalin yan ni 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 native camp yung penalty na ma-earn ko sa sa payment mo payment tab mo kaya make sure talaga na from time to time mag screenshot kayo like kapag nag standby kayo screenshot kapag um especially kapag like let's say one minute a uh, one a uh, one minute after wala pa rin si student screenshot ka pa rin so uh, meron yang giazo uh, g y a z o so gagawa ka ng account diyan kasi uh, parang ilalagay mo yung parang i parang i-connect mo sa browser mo para, para anytime you can do screenshot then yung mga in-screenshot mo masasend yan sa Giazo account mo so doon uh, magkakaroon ng link yung picture mo kasi dito sa native camp guys um, whenever you have concerns you cannot send pictures kailangan talaga link ang isi-send mo so si Giazo siya na yung magbibigay ng link ng screenshot mo So, that's the next thing na kailangan ninyo. Next is, um, you are going to work on your badges. So, mas maganda talaga kapag first day mo, like, kabisaduhin mo na yung badges mo, yung mga textbooks, study the videos, and what kayong tumulad sa akin na overconfident, kaya nagkaroon ng problema sa first class. So, wag kayong tumulad sa akin. Talagang um, study your the videos and textbooks and then send to the admin about sa budgets na magkaroon kayo ng budget so when you say budgets guys ito pala yung mga supported textbooks so um, dyan makikita na yung students like ano yung mga textbooks na kaya mong ituro so next is let's, let's move on to like um, your account so pwede ka actually like um, you can go to your account tab so dyan mo makikita yung profile picture mo yung self introduction mo So, dyan guys, pwede kayo mag-upload ng maraming pictures sa gallery. Yung mga adventures, adventures niyo na mga pictures. Kasi may mga ibang students na tinitingnan yun. Just, just like sa ibang students ko, yun yung mga naging basihan nila kaya napili nila ako sa, as their teacher. Pero guys, um, ganito yung mangyayari. Kapag wala pa kayong bank details or wala pa kayong teen numbers sa account ninyo, you cannot edit your profile. And then you can, can you cannot also upload pictures. So yun lang yun. Kaya kailangan talagang i-work or kailangan mo talagang ang trabahuin yung bank account mo. Pero you can still start naman kahit wala pa kayong bank details. Pero nga lang, you cannot, uh, it's hard for you to, or you cannot really um, edit your account. The next is, since you are on in your first week, as much as possible, maximize the number of slots that you are going to open. So meaning, um, since allowed tayo to open 24 slots in one day, gamitin, open, mag-open kayo ng 24 slots every day. So like, let's say for two weeks. Kasi um, wala naman talagang assurance na tumunog na yung alarm ko and si alarm ko. So, wala naman kasing assurance na mabubuk talaga lahat yun. So, at least uh, yung student, meron, marami siyang choices kung saan siya magbubuk. So, maximize your slots or open slots. slots. And then, after that, um, when it comes to like having or going on standby, or let's say, um, nag-open ka ng slots. So, kapag nag-open ka ng slots, um, you have choices actually kung mag-standby ka ba or hindi. So, hindi sa ibig sabihin na open yung slot mo, kailangan mo mag-standby. No. Um, okay lang, it's up to you kung mag-standby ka kapag open yung slot mo. Pag hindi, uh, pag ayaw mo mag-standby, 
opening slot mo, okay lang yan. As long as hindi siya book. So, yun yun, guys. Then, whenever you have um, book classes, guys, um, let's say yung book class me is uh, at 10 a.m. Usually, si NC, nag-a-alarm siya 10 minutes before your book class. Gaya nito, tumunog siya. Kasi may, meron akong book class at, titingnan ko sa time ko, at uh, 9.30 so, it's already 9.20, so tumunog yung al NC alarm. So, every 10 minutes before the class. But, kapag tutunog si NC alarm, meron niyang nakalagay na, please stand by for the reserved lesson. Huwag munang i-click si stand by. Huwag ka munang mag-stand by. Kasi ang mangyayari niya, guys, let's say, meron ka pang 10 minutes, just like you sa nangyari sa akin. Actually, alam ko na dapat hindi mo na ako mag-standby. Dapat 5 minutes before the book class. Pero kasi nga, parang nabisi ako sa pag-chat. So, parang when I heard the, the NC alarm, parang naklik ko agad yung standby. So, yung nangyari, may nakapasok sa student, na student sa class ko, na sudden class. And then, nagtaka yung student, bakit palang 4 minutes lang yung timer? Kasi ang mangyayari kasi kapag may book class ka, uh, like let's say uh, 10 minutes or five, um, 8 minutes before your class um, may nakapasok yung timer automatic yan na siya yung magsiset like mag end siya like 5 minutes before your book class so be careful kasi may ibang mga students na hindi maiintindihan like bakit biglang 3 minutes na lang yung time so ang tendency mabibigyan ka ng low score or low rating kaya please be careful be on standby five minutes before your book class para hindi mapasukan ng sudden class. And another thing is like, let's say at uh, uh, 10 a.m. yung book class mo. Make sure like um, 24 minutes before or 25 minutes or 26 minutes before, huwag ka nang mag-standby para wala nang sudden class na makakapasok. Okay lang kapag 30 minutes before, pwede ka pa mag uh, maka-standby and then may pumasok na sudden class. Anyway, after 20 minutes, mag -e end yan. So, meron ka pang 4 minutes before your next class. Next is, let's say, uh, chart ko lang muna guys. Let's say, magkasunod yung book classes mo. Like, in my case, mayroon akong book class at 9.30 at saka 10 p.m. Magkasunod siya at 9.30, 10 p.m., 10.30. So, ang mangyayari niyan guys, after 20, 26 minutes, mag -e end automatically yung class. So, 9.30 mag-start. So, at um, 9.56, mag end yung class ko. So, ang mangyayari yan, yan pag mag end yung class ko, um, magiging not standby na yung account ko or yung sa platform ko. So, you have to click again standby. Hindi kasi sa katulad sa ibang sa ibang um, ESL company ko na natapagtawan before na parang tuloy-tuloy siya once makapasok ka sa classroom. Dito, hindi. From time to time, every time matatapos ka and then uh, meron kang next class after 4 minutes, click again the standby. Again, uh, magtutunog. Kasi to, uh, after your first class, um, automatic not standby siya. Then tutunog si NC alarm. Then standby ka ulit kasi 4 minutes na lang natitira niya or 5 minutes na lang. So, yan yung gagawin ninyo. Next is, um, for your like, kasi na, na, for the textbook, kasi nasanay ako sa, sa previous ESL ko na whenever you are going to have a class, kusang papasok yung textbook. Kasi dito kasi kay Native Camp, hindi, si, yung message yung unang um, para magpapop up sa, sa screen mo. So yung nangyari sa first class ko, kasi nga hindi ako nag-study nag, nag sa platform ko, talagang <laughs> grabe yung uh, first class ko guys, kasi grabe yung kaba ko, kasi nga hindi ko alam kung saan yung textbook, message yung nakikita ko, gusto kong i-ex yung message, pero walang choice for me to close the message. So, as in 10 minutes, naghintay yung student for me to have the book. Kaya, uh, yung ginawa ko parang nag ad lib na lang ko, oh, why not? We are going to talk about coronavirus in your country. So, how is the situation in your country? Like, ginaganyan ko na lang para, parang malibang na lang yung, yung story. Pero yung ibang kay, kamay ko, nagsascroll kung saan yung textbook. Now, hindi ko talaga siya makita. Good thing, I na-message ko si, so it's already 9.25, so mag-standby na ako. Okay. So, kapag naka-standby ka na, guys, naka-yellow na yung sa taas pala, mayroong makalagay yan na standby for reservation. So, yan yung magiging, um, uh, yung uh, parang uh, tandaan, 
parang magiging guide mo na naka-standby ka for reservation. Then after that guys, um, again, balik tayo sa kapag magkakaroon na kayo ng class. So kapag magkakaroon ka ng class, kusang papasok, ay, lalabas si message. So yung gagawin mo, punta ka sa text tab. Doon mo makikita yung, yung, yung textbook ni student. And yung sa case ko, good thing na lang talaga na online yung nag-refer sa akin si Teacher Jorin. At naka-reply siya sa akin after 10 minutes. Naka-reply siya sa akin na sa text pala yung i-click ko para for me to get or have the textbook. And then guys, um, kailangan talaga you have to ask your students if yung textbook na nakikita mo is talaga yung yun yung um, textbook niya. Kasi merong mga ibang students na ang ginagawa is gumagamit sila ng, ng hard Uh, ng libro talaga, merong hard copy sila so merong, tend may tendency na iba yung nasa screen nila or nasa screen mo at iba din yung gusto nilang textbook, so you have to ask your students kung yan ba yung textbook nila, kapag hindi punta ka sa taas, meron yung uh, change, parang change textbook yata yan, and then click mo lang yung blue na yan, dyan makikita mo kung ano yung mga textbook na uh, gusto ni students, so tanungin mo siya then just click update, mag update yung textbook na makikita mo So, yan for, for the textbook. Next is for, um, let's go to um, auto cancellations. Kasi guys, um, um, dito sa Native Camp, dapat 5 minutes, 4 minutes, 3 minutes before the class, dapat naka-standby for reservation ka na. Kasi kung let's say 10pm yung book class mo and then, and then 10pm ka mag-standby, wala na yan. Wala nang chance for you to get into the class. So, kailangan 3 minutes, 4 minutes, nandun ka na. Kasi, mag-auto cancellation cost by teacher na yun. Mag magkakaroon ka ng penalty. The next is, um, sa st yung student. Let's say, yung, si student, uh, mag-absent siya. Um, after 6 minutes, like say, 10pm yung um, class mo, 10.06, wala pa si student, automatic magnanat standby yung account or yung profile mo. So, yan yung mayayari. So, hindi mo makikita uh, magiging nat standby siya. So, uh, may, may payment ka pa rin yan kahit absent si Sudan, pero 27 pass nga lang. Pero okay lang. At least may 27 pass. ba diba? So, uh, yun lang yun, guys. So, parang yun lang yung dapat mga dapat yung tandaan. So, kung may meron man ako makalimutan, isusulat ko lang sa chat box kasi parang time ko na for my class. So, again, this is Teacher Angel and um, guys, maraming maraming salamat. Thank you so much for like, um, for believing in me. Like, kahit newbie ako, uh, parang nagtitrust pa rin kayo sa akin. So, Thank you so much. And guys, ito pala, before I forget, please make sure na meron kayong yung cellphone nyo, yung ready always, at saka yung dictionary niya or si Google. Kasi from time to time, meron kayong mga mamimit na mga new words sa inyo. Like, in my case, si chamber pot, na-meet ko yan, at hindi ko alam kung ano yung chamber pot, nagtanong si student. Nag-Google ko ako, tapos yung nakita ko is parang magandang lalagyan ng sabaw. <laughs> so yung unang sinabi ko kay student is um, lalagyan ng soup. Pero hindi, parang diskumpiado ako. So, I'm not sure. So, talagang sinesh ko yung meaning. Yung meaning, hindi na picture. Doon ko nakita na Arinola pala, guys. So, good thing na correct ko pa yung sinabi ko kay students. So, so yan. Dapat mabilis yung kamay mo sa pag-google. So, yan yung dapat ninyong gawin. So, parang yan lang, guys. Kasi parang one minute na lang may class na ako. And thank you so much. And please, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And again, this is Teacher Angel. And next time, I'm going to share to you Um, some of my tips, alam ko um, parang newbie pa ako to give tips, pero yung mga bagay na lang na ginagawa ko sa classes ko again, thank you so much, goodbye daghang salamat kaayo, and please please, don't, don't forget to subscribe and like this videos, thank you so much goodbye, see you next time, again this is Teacher Angel